Hey everybody, Skyler here, and in this video I want to go over XYO and that Dennis Rodman video that came out with him promoting the XYO network and that coin app. It's a really funny video. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you watch it. We will be going over that video uh, today and kind of my thoughts around it. And I want to go over the article as well that launched it and uh, and the website and stuff. And there's some interesting things about that. And then I also kind of want to dive into XYO a little bit. Um, share with you uh, my thoughts around that project as well, some updates that I have. I've made a few projects about that video in the past, and I, I just kind of want to give an update. So if none of that is uh, interesting to you, then you can just skip this video for sure. But if that does interest you, please stick around, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So actually, before I hop into that, uh, I guess I just want to say, hey, if, if you are brand new into crypto watching this video and, and, and you just happen to you know skim across this or whatever, my channel is made for people who are brand new in this industry. This industry is so complicated and confusing, and sometimes you just need to like sit there and just like drill somebody with questions, just like dumb questions to try to figure it out. I had to do that when I first started. I just, I didn't understand. So I finally got somebody who was like, there's no dumb question. I'm like, oh yeah. I was like, I'll, I'll we'll see you know and and yeah there was a lot of dumb questions I asked but it helped me out and hey I want to be that for you so if anyone has any questions whatsoever write down comments down below I'll answer them right away if you look at any of my videos I, I'm pretty active in my replies uh, and hey if you want me to do a weekly um, you know you can just ask me any question you want I can just spend an hour a week uh, just uh, and you can drill me with whatever you want if you want to get to know this industry uh, I, I can do that uh, I, I'm not sure how uh, requested it, it may end up being, but if that's something you may end up liking, you know, hit, hit the like button, and uh, I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'd love to help people get into this industry. And just let everyone know, everything I do make in this uh, channel and, and and website does go straight to charity. So every single like and subscribe does for sure go a long way. And and if you are new to this industry and you want to learn, liking and subscribing isn't a bad idea. But uh, let's just get into it. So, <clears throat> uh, so Dennis Rodman, and you know, I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna play the video just because. Hey, Dennis. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll, I'll get in trouble doing it or, or whatnot, but I will link the article, and you can watch the video itself. But Dennis Rodman essentially has uh, made this video promoting. Um, look, there's actually the hat he's normally wearing, I think, in the background. <laughs> he's like, I'll put this on for the video. Um, at any rate, uh, he promotes this project in a very Dennis Rodman way. If you know Dennis Rodman, then you're like, okay. But he starts the video like introducing himself as like the Kim Jong Un lover, and you know, I don't know. It's just like what you know. That's hey, that's a Dennis Rodman move. You know, that's something he would do. But um, but what's uh, what's interesting is when I, I actually heard about this a, a few days ago, and and I finally. Uh, you know, those, every once in a while, people in crypto get a, you know, no one in their family is interested, but they'll randomly get a text from a family member. This was one of those I got. So finally, I was like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll read into it. Like, it was XYO. It was relatable. So I, I looked into it. And then the, the video was pretty funny. Um, yeah, the app behind Rodman's controversial new crypto video is actually pretty legit. And so this article talks about, hey, this video is pretty crazy. But here's the deal. This is a really cool way to earn crypto, and it's not a bad project. And here's what other people think about it. They really like it. And then at the very end, they end up uh, saying, hey, by the way, um, because this special offer with this special article, we can actually give you a free, let's hop into it, um, Sentinel. Oh my goodness, it's completely free. That's so cool. All I gotta do is pay for shipping. So how do I do it? 12 bucks and it's mine, boom. All right, so obviously this has been around for many, many months. People who are familiar with this, with this, so um, the article is a is a little misleading. This video as well is old, so I don't know why they're promoting this video. There's a lot more videos. I feel like I mean maybe I'm just being arrogant, but I feel like I did a better testing of the of the more. I mean, it changes so often. You need to do a, a, a full testing every you know three or four weeks and put a video out. But this was done like 
six, seven months ago. So the way that they do this on this video is just super old. So I'm just interested that they ended up putting this. But um, but as I went through this, it's just this is just essentially just an article that's promoting the company. And uh, and then obviously when I got to the end, I was like, obviously it's an article. So this. The article, the app behind the Rodman's controversial new crypto video is actually pretty legit. Um, this was made by the XYL company. So this fast growing, I'm pretty sure is made by XYL. And look, here's the deal. I'm going to click on every single link I see in the entire article. Link. Uh, there's the link. I already know that one. Let's go link, 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 link. So I couldn't really find any other links. And if you see, all of these links go to buying a Sentinel. Or it doesn't exist. So I got the privacy policy. Um, look, the, this is in a Sentinel. Let's go to the home page. Oh look, the home page talks about XYO. And it's an article talking about XYO. So, I don't know, it just, I think that this company is doing something with this website and they're just, instead of it being like a news article that's an interesting article, it's, it's an ad that is portrayed as an article. And, you know, um, and that, that's, by the way, um, and before I get into my little rant, let's hop back into this video with, uh, <clears throat> with Dennis Rodman. So, all this video is, and as you see, it only goes on for a minute and a half. So everything that's that you've, if you have heard about it, it's just a minute and a half of him, and he's like, "Hey, this is the XYO coin. You can sit here and do nothing, and for free, you can earn crypto. All you gotta do is pay for shipping, which is twelve bucks, and now you can earn crypto doing whatever you want." And then he does some uh, lewd things talking about how you can earn crypto, and uh, and that was it. So I'll link it, and you can watch it below. Um, it's a pretty interesting video, and. But what, this, what I find really interesting is not only did this video exist, but the video was obviously he was paid to do it. I mean, why would he just do this video without it? And then, and then they're portraying it as if like XYO didn't pay him to do it. And this is just a random article. So they're trying to like detach themselves from it, sort of. Maybe that's like a social marketing, media marketing thing or whatever, but I, I don't know. One of my biggest problems um, with this company is I just feel like you need to be on a little, like, you used to be super honest and upfront about everything. And there's just a lot of weird stuff, right? Um, on one of my videos, I talked about some ads that were portrayed and it showed like Bitcoin, um, you know, miners. And it was like, hey, you can earn crypto, free crypto. And it was, it was like, oh, obviously it's a Bitcoin logo. And, it's, but that, that object didn't even exist in the XYO network world. It was just like an, a, a clickbait to like get you to buy a Sentinel. And, and also the, the project doesn't make sense to me either. So in fact, let me actually go to this. I'm going to link you this article right here. It's actually a very well done article when it talks to, if you want to be bullish on the project, this is a very good article. Um, it, uh, but it essentially talks about what they wanted to do. And something I was very curious about, I was, I was never, um, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna try to make this very short, but I never understood the satellite. They never really got into it. In fact, even on this one, they're like, they just launched a satellite with SpaceX and they kind of move on to it, but um, move on. But uh, one of my biggest problems with the XYO network was the GPS. So the the company was building itself on a, cent on a centralized network. And I just don't understand how you can build a decentralized company in a centralized network and, and, and be able to verify that no information will be sold. So that would be like me going on Facebook. I mean, I'm being, I'm way over exaggerating, but I feel like that would be me, be like me going to um, uh, a Facebook group and guaranteeing that your, your stuff will be safe because I won't do anything in the Facebook group because I, I made it private. But it's like, well, it's on Facebook and they could get the information. Now I know it's much different than that, but in a generalization, that's that's my concern with this project. And so essentially, they're launching SpaceX because if you don't know what GPS is, GPS is um, is uh, the 
the what is it global positioning satellites or something like that but uh, whatever it stands for it's owned by the air force which is owned by the government so anytime you're using gps systems whatsoever you're you're using systems that have been put in place by the government and it's a very centralized system so when they launched the satellite i just didn't get very much information i finally found an article that talked about it and uh in fact it's right here and i'll link and i think that's where they got that photo from actually but uh, I, uh, I'll link you this article as well, but this is where they're talking about they're launching that satellite in order to get that, that network. Well, the way that they pr described it is they're saying like, hey, that person that lives in the town of 150 people or, you know, 1,200 people, and there's only three people in the town that use XYO and they're not next to each other. They're not able to verify anything and they're not able to like really be a part of the network. But you want to be have them be able to verify locations, anyways, and be a part of the network. So the satellites uh, a first step into being able to like those people that are in the middle of nowhere can can be able to ping the satellite when it's in position, and then be able to relay itself and, and verify location data. Um, and so if there's enough satellites in the sky, then that would be awesome because then they wouldn't have to rely on the GPS system. They can just rely on their satellite system. And then if their you know, system is, is built the right way, then it could be a really cool project. So if you guys haven't watched my videos in the last um, few weeks, then maybe I'm just speaking gibberish, but I don't know. I, I did a video and maybe I felt like I was too bullish and I was like, made it seem like this project was amazing and you should buy it. And so the next video I made, I just wanted to be like a little more cautious, but then I still felt like I wasn't quite where I needed to be at. So the third video I made, I felt like I was talking trash on the project. And I'm like, oh, that's not really what I want. Um, I just, if you are the crowd that's brand new in the crypto space and the crypto industry, you just need to understand that this space is so shady and dishonest. And, and there's so many people, so many projects that seem legit are not. And there's, there's escape plans and, you know, and, and man, there's been some amazing could be projects that just disappeared because people ran off with money. And when they say 99% of the projects are going to fail, they're correct. I fully believe that. I mean, who, I mean, I'm, I'm sure we're still, we're probably in the 90 to 95% of the projects that have started since 2011 have failed anyways. But, um, but even the projects now, right, there's like seven or 8,000 projects. There's only like three or four of them on, on coin market cap. If that's what you look at. Um, that, that are on exchanges, on multiple exchanges, and, and uh, just who, who knows. So you just gotta be very, very, very careful. And a lot of my cons that I have about this company is, is, is just them um, being too confusing and not really being too, um, I, have to, I have to dig a lot and find like a lot of random articles to see where they're going. Their roadmap as well, like doesn't really show what, what's going on in a few years. It shows them what's going on in the next few months but I, I would just like to see a larger vision. There's a lot of splits that go on in the company that don't make any sense. Um, and uh, and I, I would just like to see where their focuses are and and and, and yeah, so, um, so my thoughts about this company go back and forth and I have been using this, if, for those who don't know, I have been using this, this project pretty um, intensely. I have Sentinels with a few, you know, quite a few friends in different states. Um, I know somebody who invested, you know, last year and he got equity in XY or so uh, if it ever goes public, then he'll have a, he'll have a, you know, a bunch of shares in the company and, you know, and who knows, who knows, who knows, who knows, but, um, <clears throat> you know, I, 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 I have a little bit more faith in this company than I did, um, a few months ago. All right, so I'm gonna end the video right here and um, keep it under 20 minutes. I'm gonna try to get my videos down to the 10, 10 minute range eventually below that. But uh, at any rate, I super appreciate anyone who has liked and subscribed eventually when this channel grows and makes money. Uh, I want to you know, help others in need with this channel and with the profits and whatnot. So uh, you know, uh, every single like and subscribe absolutely does go a long way. Super appreciate everyone. Um, and if you are brand new again to this industry, please go down in the comments below. Ask me any question you want. Even even has nothing to do with this, this project or video. Ask me any question. Um, some of the best videos I've done um, have been uh, from reference of people that wrote comments down below. So. Um, 
if you have any questions whatsoever. Um, and uh, mm-hmm. hey, if you want me to do a, I can do a weekly or once a week, twice a week, whatever you want. Just let me know in the comments again. Uh, ask me anything. So. Uh, hey, I can just you can just ask me what is Bitcoin? Where did it come from? How is it money? How you know who owns it? What's the value behind it? Why is why should I invest it instead of gold? What's Ethereum? Why is there so many crypto coins? Like, hey, I've heard lots of questions, and I understand how confusing this is because I myself am not a techie guy. I mean, hey, I'm a guy that I, as I sit here with three monitors in my in front of my face right now, but. Um, I do love computers and and whatnot, but I'm not like a software developer or anything like that. So when it came to understanding this code, it definitely was a a hurdle for me. And I can't even understand how I I try to explain this to my, you know, my parents and, you know, my older relatives. And and it's just, you know, over their head. And it's I feel like I'm slowly getting better and better in explaining it. But it's it's definitely a hassle. And and so don't feel bad if, if you don't understand it or if everything is confusing. Um, even understanding the XYO when it comes to Sentinels and the bridges and all that, um, you know, all that sort of stuff, I, I, I get it. So uh, I'm here to help you out. Anything I can do would be, um, I, I just want to be here for you. So uh, thank you again and uh, appreciate everybody. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.